Hey everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you, how to create this modern product card, using HTML, and CSS. This card has a dynamic rating, meaning you can specify the ratings in decimals, rather than just integers. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Open your code editor, and create an HTML file. We'll include the Font Awesome library, into our project, which we will use for the rating stars. You can also use any other font icon library you want. Use a link tag, to include our CSS file. In the body, create a div element, with class as container. Inside it, create another div, with class as image container. Inside it, create an image element, with class as image. Set the src attribute of the image, to url of your image. Now, create a div element, with class as text container. Inside it, create another div, with class as heading. Type heading, or name of your product inside it. Create a div element, with class as rating. Inside it, create 5 I elements, with classes, FA solid, and FA star. These will be stars for the rating system. Now, create a div element, with class as description. Type in description of your product, in about 3 lines, or 120 characters. Next, create a div element, with class as footer. Inside it, create a div element, with class as price. Put the price of the product inside it. Lastly, create a div element, with class as button. This button will act as CTA. Our HTML is ready. Let's move to the CSS. We'll start by importing poppins from Google Fonts. Select the 400 and 700 weights of the font. Now, we will declare some variables in the root selector. 
For the accent color, we will use orangish shade of yellow color. For the primary color, we will use dark shade of gray color. We will use moderate shade of gray color, as the secondary color. Lastly, we will use 8 pixel margin between the stars. Let's do a CSS reset. For the body, set width to 100 view width. Set height to 100 view height. Set display to grid. Set place items to center. Set background color to accent color. For the container class, set width to 882 pixels. Set height to 442 pixels. Set border radius to 40 pixels. Set display to flex. Set flex direction to row. Set background color to primary color. Set position to relative. Set font family to Poppins, sans serif. To add a subtle shadow to the card, set box shadow to 0 pixels x offset. 12 pixels Y offset, 20 pixels blur, 0 pixels spread, and color to very dark gray color, with 50% opacity. For the image container class, set height to 100%. Set display to flex. Set align items to center. For the image class, Set width and height to 362 pixels. Set border radius to 30 pixels. Set margin left to 36 pixels. Set background color to white. For the text container class, set position to relative. Set flex to 1. Set margin left to 40 pixels. For text container classes div elements, set display to flex. 
set justify content to center. Set align items to center. Set line height to 30 pixels. For the heading class, set font size to 40 pixels. Set color to white. Set font weight to 700. Set height to 90.5 pixels. Set position to absolute. Set top to 40 pixels. For the rating class, set flex direction to row. Set height to 30 pixels. Set position to absolute. Set top to 120 pixels. Set the value of rating variable to the rating of the product. We will calculate the position of the gradient stop in the stop variable using calc function. First, we will convert the rating to a percentage. Now, we will subtract half of the star margin from it. This is because, we are applying the gradient to the length of entire star container, which also includes the margin of stars. Set background image to, linear gradient. With the direction to the right, accent color at the calculated stops position and secondary color at the same position. Set background clip to text so that it only colors the stars and not their background. Please note that, you also need to add WebKit background clip text property to make it work in Chrome. Now, let's add some styling to the stars. For rating classes all the children, set font size to 20 pixels. Set color to transparent. Set margin right to value of star margin variable. For the description class, set width to 90%. Set font size to 20 pixels. Set color to white. Set position to absolute. Set top to 170 pixels. For the footer class, set flex direction to row. Set position to absolute. Set bottom to 80 pixels. Set width to 90%. Set justify content to space between. And add important flag to it.
to override the center justification, which we set on text containers developments. For the price class, set color to white. Set font weight to 700. Set font size to 32 pixels. For the button class, set height to 65 pixels. Set width to 190 pixels. Set border radius to 10 pixels. Set background color to accent color. Set align self to flex end. Set font size to 24 pixels. Set margin right to 5 pixels. Set cursor to pointer. Our project is ready. Let's see the preview. It is looking great. I'll reduce the star margin to 4 pixels, for better aesthetics. So that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. By the way, the entire source code of this project is available on my Patreon for $1. I will meet you next time, till then, good luck, and peace.